Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's color the Torvosaurus. When coloring the Torvosaurus, we need to know that the lower part of its body was lighter than the upper part. It was a large animal, so try to make its body color look simple and not too fancy. There were two small lacrimal horns on the head of the Torvosaurus. The lacrimal horns weren't as well developed as those of the Allosaurus, so when we color the head, we can consider using dark colors for the lacrimal horns and make the face reddish. Patterns on a dinosaur's body can normally be used for identification. The jugal horns of the Torvosaurus weren't very prominent so we can use bright colors around the antipode fenestry to make the head look more noticeable. The colors we use are quite simple, for example, the body is gray, the belly is light yellow or flesh color. To avoid dull colors, we may dab pink paint on certain parts of the body to give it a softer look. Now let's color in the Torvosaurus. Use a light flesh color to paint the belly and the lower parts of its head and tail. First draw a rough boundary line from the belly all the way to this area. Then we can directly color in the outlined area. Now move on to the side of its body. We can enlarge the light flesh colored area. so that after painting, the picture will look brighter. If the gray part is too large, it would look very dull. Then paint the inside and rear part of the lower leg, the rear part of the upper leg. All the way to the tip of the tail, the entire lower half of the body can be painted with a light flesh color. On the tail, we're going to draw a lot of patterns, and the rest is gray. So we need to paint the background color on the tail for the patterns. Then paint the area behind its nose and in front of the antipodal fenestra. This area consisted of a layer of soft skin, and we can paint it with a flesh color. The temporal fenestra behind the eye can also be painted with a light flesh color. Then use yellow to paint the horny parts of the head. The area above the eye and this row of small spines on the back when painting the spines, we can use dots for the ones that were far apart. Or, the spines that were close together, we can just draw a line. When filling in, we don't need to fill it tidily. The parts going beyond the boundary line would make the picture more vivid, then paint the rest of the body with grey. Start with the mouth, between the horny part and the skin on the side, we can also use grey to separate the eyes. Before painting its body, 
we can draw the outline. When drawing the outline, we can partially cover this yellow part and try to make the edge more vivid. Then paint this edge. We can leave its fingernails blank. We can also paint its feet directly, but try to avoid the toenails. After these edges are done, we can paint the large areas. The advantage of painting the inside along the edges first is that, when painting a large area, we don't have to worry about painting beyond the edge. Next move on to the tail. At the tip of the tail, draw a few patterns before filling it in. Next, let's paint the interior of its mouth with pink. Try to avoid the teeth, and fill in its tongue and throat with pink, as well as the corners of its mouth. We can also paint some parts of the neck pink. Fill in the left out part of the lower jaw with grey. This grey area can cover the muscles on the side to make the colour slightly different from the interior of the mouth. Finally, use orange to paint the antipodal fenestry in the eye sockets. to make its face reddish. Good, like this, we've finished coloring this Torvosaurus.